Hey guys, happy Friday. How is everyone today? I hope everyone's doing well. I am doing great. Um, okay, wait, I'm Zuri. Um, for those that don't know me, I'm Zuri. And this is my uh, channel podcast yarn talk thing called Talk Yarny to Me. Um, and you have found me. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to those that just popped by and have not clicked away yet. Oh man, I almost fell out my chair. <laughs> All of those things. Um, anyway, happy Friday. It is April the 26th right now. And you will probably see this. Wait. Yeah, 26. You'll probably see this. Today's Friday. You'll probably see this Saturday, maybe even Sunday. We got a busy weekend, so who knows when I'll actually get this uploaded. But um, so I want to come chat with you guys for a quick minute. I don't have a ton, which I always say, but then I end up babbling along. And that's just how it goes. But I really don't because, um, as many of you know, I have been working on some baby blankets lately because everyone in the world is pregnant right now and they are all having boys and um i'm making blankets for them so i have two down already one has already been gifted because the baby shower was last week no two weeks ago um that was a star-shaped baby blanket um the second one is completed and waiting to be delivered that is a filet crochet blanket with like a dragonfly motif um the third one is in my lap and the f there's two more maybe fourth one is it's not started yet the fifth one i told you my good friend in philadelphia is her daughter's having a baby it's gonna be her first grandchild um it's due at the same time as these other four and just like the other four they are all boys so five boys now um so he's a boy too and so I think I'm going to make her something and send it up. I think for these last two, I am going to try to go with four weights just to make them go a little faster. We'll see. Because I have all of this baby yarn. I have baby yarn. I have a lot of Karen Skinny Cakes. I have a lot of ice cream. Not a lot. I have some ice cream yarn. I've got a lot of three weights. I've got, what is this stuff called? I have mandala bonus bundles and mandalas, but mainly bonus bundles. And I have cupcake yarn so i have a lot of three weights that it would be good for baby blankets but they just take longer um whereas like when i use that and i might try to buy that when i use that forever fleece fine forever fleece finer for the um dragonfly blanket i did it in one night or one day so um the difference is stark <laughs> So we'll see. I don't want to buy any. I have a lot of um, four weight stuff. I just got to see if there's anything baby blanket worthy or like really good for that. I don't want to buy anything, but we'll see. I probably won't buy anything. I have time. There's no baby showers that I have to like be done for for these last two blankets so I can make them and send them or give them any time. Um, anyway, before I show you this last blanket, I will show you while I have been feverishly working on this, I did take a couple breaks of just like... There's been a couple times that the yarn and stuff for this blanket has been like maybe upstairs or another room or whatever. And I just reached over and grabbed like whatever yarn. This is my work area where you're sitting. This is what my coworkers see on all my Zoom meetings and things. Um, and this is what you see too. You get an exact view. So this is my desk. Um, and I've got some yarn over here in a drawer. I got some yarn here on my windowsill. I got some yarn on the floor there. Not a ton, but I have a few things that are just sitting around. So I just reached over and grabbed whatever. Um, so the first, this is not actually, the, this is the first thing I worked on. So this is just, um, these are some hats I made. They're all freestyle. This one was just for fun. So actually this one I didn't make it well. I think I finished it maybe here, but I started it last Sunday. No, probably two Sundays ago I started this hat. Um, it was just, I was out, um, we went to church and then we didn't come home in between services. So I had to kill some time. Um, so I had some yarn in my trunk and I actually went to Joanne's and bought a hook because I didn't have a hook on me. Um, I bought a couple like pieces of, uh, what is it called? Clearance yarn, um, clearance, a couple skeins of clearance yarn, nothing special, but I bought a hook and I just went and started this, um, on that Sunday and worked on this like throughout church, kind of just clandestinely. Um, so this is something I... I've never been super interested in, but it's everywhere in like a lot of the crochet groups that I've been in. 
and um i just didn't have anything else to do with this yarn so i decided to try it um it's, it's well, okay here close your eyes one two three bam it's the ruffle hat very it's the ruffle hat <laughs> it's definitely different um it's just a basic beanie and then you just when you get to however big you want it to be you start making ruffles which is i think most people just do like three crochet uh, double crochets i don't remember what i did i think i started mine with half double cr crochet so every stitch i did three half double crochets then um i put this down for a few days <laughs> and i picked it back up and i forgot that i started with the that i was doing half double crochet so somewhere in the middle before i got to the red row because i did two rows of brown and then this last row in red so i think in the second row of the brown i switched from half double crochet to double crochet so you can kind of i'm gonna mess my hair up it's like you can kind of see where it was maybe it's right here this is like the half the area right kind of right here where i switched it so this is it it came out really big i made this the same size as i do my usual um beanies like this basic beanie like but i think when you start doing the brim area it kind of pulls it outwards a little so it doesn't like even on my head with all my hair it doesn't like sit against my head i don't know how these are supposed to be worn but it, i feel like it came out loose um, this here is, what is it called? Skein tones. This is a skein tone, and this is just a, oh, this never ending, I'll show you, never ending skein of, uh, Red Heart Super Saver in cherry red. It's a, it's still one of the jumbo ones, so it's been for, I've been just using it for months and, and different things, and it will not ever end so there's that so i've made that um just a little freestyle thing i guess if i ever make another one which i don't know if i will um i definitely will remember that the brim pulls out a little i'll make it a little smaller but i wanted to make it long enough to cover ears because i'm all about covering my ears i don't think i didn't make this to wear though i just kind of made it for fun it's gonna go into donate kyle um it's ugh. No salvaging this, but it is late at night, so it does not matter. What is this in my... Okay, anyway. Secondly, is this little hat. I don't think this will fit on my head. It's a teen size, kid size hat. Don't even that. This is basic beanie. Um, made with Karen Colorama Ogo that I've been working through for a while. And then this is just a little freestyle one I did because I had, I've had this like a half a, half a skein of Scarfy sitting on my windowsill for months. I think I made a hat out of part of it a while ago. And I just had the rest of it just sitting there. Um, I took it all the way to Cleveland with me thinking I was gonna make something out of it like in the hotel when I'm during downtime, I ended up not having any downtime. Um, so it's just been sitting there, so I just picked it up the other day because I just needed something to work on, and I made this hat. Now, this is completely freestyle. I actually like the way this came out, though. So, just regular increases, and then I just went into some post stitches here. It's hard to see, but went into some post stitches. Um, I did, did I do, like, did I do the front loop, back loop? I don't even remember now. Or did I just do... Guess I did with this. Yeah, I did. Okay, so front loop, back loop, post stitches, and then I did like three rows of puff stitches here, and then I did a couple more rows of front. I think this is three rows of posts, three rows of puffs, three rows of posts, um, and then ended it with a two more rows of single crochet, and then I think that's all I had enough yarn for. It was just a little freestyle thing. The only place it came out cute. The only thing is that, hold on, there's one spot here where something went wrong and I can't find it now. Where is it? Uh, there's one spot where like the puffs don't line up right. But now I have no idea, so maybe it wasn't as bad. Cause I can't find it. <laughs> 
And I just saw it. And I don't know how I made that mistake. I didn't realize it till I was on like the last row of puffs, but it's just, now I can't find them. So it's not even noticeable. So that's great. Um, but I really like this. I might keep this one because I like the colors. It fits nice. It's a little bit, I might still donate it just cause it's like masculine, you know? And you know, we, we crochet so much stuff that ends up being a little like quote unquote girly. Um, that I always feel like there's, it's just skewed. The balance is off when you start to like actually put things to donate that you're like, oh, there's a lot of like girl stuff that a man or a boy might not want. But then I still might keep this cause it's really cute. <laughs> and like, it just, it fits perfectly. It's just warm enough. Like my little ears, I might end up keeping this. We'll see. We'll see if I can part with it. <coughs> Excuse me, I don't have nothing to drink either. Okay, so we'll make this quick. All right, now to the blanket. <coughs> Let's take this off, because if I get hot, I'll be coughing all over. Might take my sweater off, too. Whew. All right. I don't have any water anywhere within reach. Give me one more second. <coughs> I'm so sorry. It's a huge pet peeve of mine when people are, like, hacking up their lungs in the middle of their videos, but here I am. All right, I came out of nowhere though. All right, so this is my blanket, the blanket number three out of potentially five. All right, this one, if you recall, is called the Aurora Baby Blanket, and this is it. It is largely done. I'm just doing the border right now. Uh, I'm gonna stand up because it's the dimensions are funky, but before I do that, all right, so it is just a, can you guys see that really well? It's a shell stitch, it's a reversible pattern. So you have your shells here and you kind of, it's a little bit textured um, as you can see. So you have like this row of shells here that's kind of standing out. And then this one is like kind of back. And then if I flip it over, that one's the one that's back is kind of standing out. Um, all of these, this is a loops and threads, snuggly wuggly in the color cobalt. And then these three are, um, Patton's baby in various colors. I know this is like angel soft or something. One of these is maybe, you know what I have them right here. Okay, cobalt, let's just go do that one. Uh, angel white. Bonnet blue. And delicate green, bonnet blue, delicate green. So that's these. Um, I'm gonna stand up real quick. And hold it up. So as you see, it's actually really long. The dimensions are a little bit off. Um, I didn't measure the length yet, but going with the approximations I made as I was doing this, I think the width, the length is gonna be little more than 40 inches the width without the border is like 25 inches so it's very long and narrow so I need to um give it some girth <laughs> uh, which is why I'm doing the border now the border calls for like one row of each color and then there's kind of like a shell pico border like at the top I'm doing two rows of each color um so I did two rows of, I finished with the no, this is the this this is this is where I finished. So I finished with uh, the bonnet blue or whatever, and then I started with the white. So I did two rows of the white. You have to even out the shells at the top. Um, it's pretty easy. And then you now I'm on the delicate green. Two rows of that, um, and then I'll do the other two colors, and then we'll see if it's still narrow. Then I might just like on each on each long side. Um, give it a couple more rows of something and then maybe go around. We'll see. Um, so there's that. Uh, this used, it's funny. So this used, so the, the, the bonnet, I mean, the cobalt is the same cobalt color that I used in my last blanket in the star blanket. So I, I had a partial skein of that, that I started and then I did this. So this is like used up that whole partial skein plus um plus like 
this new skein for the rest of the colors it it used up almost the entire skein to do the blanket part like with the white i went around like doing it two times for the border i had to like i was able to get almost like within i had to like oh sorry i'm not speaking well wording is hard today so this is coming the border like you see where i changed like i had to add in another skein like seven rows away from finishing this border the white part so barely barely a couple of feet or whatever inches centimeters use it used up of a second skein of white so pretty much it's one skein and a tiny bit more it looks like it's probably going to be the same for this one too oh man i'm all, I'm all discombobulated so Here's where I'm at with this one. I'm on the second row, of course. So I have to go here, around, and all the way down the long side. So I don't think I'll be able to do that with what I have left. So I'll probably have to break into a second skein of each of those colors. the This one and the white, I mean, not the white, and the bonnet blue. And then, of course, I still have to do, I'm going to do the outer, like, shell stitch border in this cobalt again. So... Yeah, I am kind of was hoping I would be able to not have to break into another skein just because now, like for instance, this is the new skein of white I just pulled out, but pulling it out came with like all of this yarn barf that I'm going to have to get back in. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? See, a whole lot of yarn barf that I'm going to have to get back in there or just like try to store in a way that it won't get tangled. And like once I start a ball, like it, I feel like obligated to use that ball. So it's going to be hard for me to put those back <laughs> and not use them. Maybe I will use them for my next blanket or something. But I like I'm like want to finish the ball because I started it instead of putting it back in my stash. Is what it is though. I figured out. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it. That's all I've been doing. Um, other than that, work is, I've just been working, family stuff. I got two big projects done at work this week. Um, so I'm happy with that. I do want to get back. I'm like weeks and weeks behind on the Bod Hatta Palooza. And then I want to get, I want to do that because I've learned a lot of different stitches and skills with that. And I've used up a lot of yarns with that. Um, what else do I want to do for me? I want to do something for me. I don't know what though yet. I mean, I had some, I think there was things I was planning to do. I haven't decided which one. I wanted to do this cardigan, um, this cocoon cardigan. Now it's probably getting to be summertime. So who knows if I want to do that. I still want to make a shawl for me with one of these. I already forgot which one I said I was going to use. I think I said I was going to use this one. And I was just going to make something out of this one. Um, so those are sitting there waiting on me right next to me. Sorry, I keep leaning out of frame, but everything is just like a little bit out of frame. There's something else I wanted to do for me. I don't remember. Um, there's one more blanket once I finish the baby blankets that I want to do. Um, it was that Which Way Filet blanket that I want to finish. It's already started. I want to finish that because that is going to um, the parents of one of the babies. So I would like to gift that together. Their baby shower is in like two weeks though. So we'll see. Um, I think I'll finish this one. Because this one, okay, so... Whenever the 4th is, this one's going out on the 4th. The dragonfly blanket is going to the family that's their baby showers on the 11th. So that's that. Whenever that is. Is that two weeks from now? One week? I don't know. That's also the family that I want to give the Witch Way Filet blanket to. So, because that's like a housewoman gift. They moved in in like August, September. So, <laughs> it's so late. But it is what it is. Um... And so once I get those done, I probably need to then, can you see this? Hold on. That's my son's blanket. Still there. It's been there forever. I need to get back on that. And then I need to, that's a knitting thing. That's another thing I thought I had was that at least one. So probably my friend in Philly, I think I should have, if I knit, I should have enough left of the forever fleece finer. That is a tongue twister to knit her a blanket. I wouldn't have enough to crochet or it'd be very close, but I think I can knit a blanket for them without having to buy more, which is good because I'm pretty sure those colors are discontinued, if not that whole line. Um, 
so I think that's what I'm gonna do because it's there's no time limit you know I'm, I'm gonna probably buy them something um from their registry for their actual like I always like to buy something from the registry um so that will I can have that set in time for her baby shower which I think is also which is on the 18th I think um but I'll have time to knit or something and it should knit up quick because I think I'll probably just do a knit corner to corner blanket um, with the two, because I have, with the two colors. I think that's what I'm going to do. That's most likely my plan. And because it's in Philly, a thicker blanket would be good, because it obviously gets colder than it does here in Atlanta. So that's, I think that's my plan. I've been thinking about it. I haven't decided yet, but I think that's what I'm going to do. So that's, that's a five weight, you know, and then so I just got to decide my other friend down here, what I'm going to do for her blanket. Actually, I think I know what I'm going to do. That one, I'm going to do a cotton blanket, I think. So I'm good. Yeah probably <laughs> anyway there's that um as far as our weekend i don't know how much i'm gonna get done this weekend i would love to finish this this weekend but i don't think that's gonna happen we have a busy busy weekend my son has a soccer game tomorrow morning and they're doing the pictures before the game which they never do um usually it's like in the middle of the week but they're doing the pictures at like eight o'clock in the morning eight o'clock and i can't even get him there at nine o'clock on time for his games like we're always pulling up to the <laughs> Build at like nine o'clock, nine o four, you know, but everyone else is too, so the games never start on time. It is what it is. If you try to get us out there at nine in the morning, you just gotta take what you can get. Um, but they want to do the pictures at eight o'clock. So that's gonna be fun. So I have to get up really early. And then once we get back, he's gonna have to shower or at least change. Hopefully he has time to shower before well, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Depends how stinky he gets. He doesn't play a lot. Um, but we're gonna um He's gonna, we're gonna have to get ready immediately because we're gonna take our kids to the, um, we're gonna take the kids to the, the Renaissance Festival. Yeah. So that should be fun. Um, but it's gonna be a long, busy day. My husband's gonna be tired because he's getting home late probably. I'm gonna be tired because I should be in bed by now. It is, it just turned midnight a couple minutes ago. Um, the kids are gonna be tired because they're kids. My son should be asleep right now, but who knows? I told him, like, you cannot stay up late. He likes to play up, stay up late on Friday nights playing his video games. But I was like, we, we got to get out of the house early tomorrow morning. We got to be on time. So he went up to his room. I'm assuming he's asleep. We'll check and see. So we'll see. We'll see how much crocheting I have, and knitting I have time for. My husband's probably going to make me drive because I have a bigger car. So there goes that. And he refuses to drive my car. Um, and yeah, and then Sunday at church, and then probably after church, we'll get a little bit of time to relax. If I don't have to, I'll probably have to figure out what to cook. And yeah, that's what it is. So I don't know, all that to say, I don't think I'm gonna have time to finish this this weekend, but I'm gonna, I'll be done with it within the next week, hopefully. We'll see. All right, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, one more mystery box is in the Etsy shop if you guys want, someone wants to grab it. It's the last one for a little while till I feel, till I get overwhelmed again and feel like um, de-stashing some more, which I probably, it's gonna happen probably within the next few months. We'll see. Um, so there's that. And um, I know the winner of the, um giveaway she emailed me and she got it and she really liked it so i'm really glad you appreciate it. i mean i'm really glad that you liked it um i did see your email i just didn't reply yet but um if you're watching i saw it and i'm really glad you liked it uh what else by the way that box ended up being i thought it was gonna be like 10 pounds it ended up being 16 pounds like the the lady the cashier at the post office was like joking around with me like asking if I had a body in there or a torso I forgot what she said and I was like don't ask no questions man um but it ended up being really heavy all the boxes that I've done have ended up being really like heavier than they were like the mystery boxes are averaging like 10 to 12 pounds when like they they're listed as eight um and then that box was like 16 pounds it was so expensive to ship and she lives <laughs> almost as far across the country from me as she possibly could but it's fine i was happy to do it um I'm, I'm really glad to share um anyway let me get out of here 25 minutes i feel like it's more than fair you guys have a great rest of your weekend if if i if if the weekend is not over yet which it probably will be by the time i post this but have a great whatever it happens to be when you see this and i will talk to you later bye